images are important. Yes, we know that media is the biggest payload on the web and that includes images. This is in fact why we're here today, talking about codecs, compression, performance, tooling. Now, speaking of performance and tooling, we know that Google Lighthouse has become de rigueur, a go-to to grade site performance. Now, the famous Lighthouse score is calculated using a number of metrics. And one of those metrics is the largest contentful paint, also known as the LCP. Now, images can have a impact on the LCP, but unbeknownst to many, the LCP is worth 25% of your Lighthouse score. So if your image management is poor, your Lighthouse score to quote Trent Reznor is on a downward spiral. Now here to talk about the relationship between the largest contentful paint and images is Lighthouse core contributor and all around nice guy, Patrick Hulse. Enjoy. I recorded this just in case I couldn't make it, uh, but uh, timing worked out great. And I really wanted to kind of riff off some of the previous great talks you heard today too. So uh, here we go, trying it out live. Hopefully all the tech cooperates with us. Um, so my name is Patrick. Uh, this lightning talk, we're gonna be covering images and how they impact your page's performance on a metric called LCP. So without further ado, this is your LCP on images. Uh, first, real quick, I just wanna give a little background and a little proof of my love for images. Uh, I've been around the web perf and images for quite some time. Uh, if you're familiar with a tool called Lighthouse, I've been on the core team there since 2016 and I wrote a lot of the image advice. Um, but if you're not familiar, no worries, we're gonna cover all that in just a second. Um, and I've also been around uh, JPEG for quite a while. I maintain JPEG JS, pure uh, JPEG decoder and encoder. So even if I suggest some other formats other than JPEG in this, uh, I, still got, I still got the JPEG love too, no worries. Um, and also I just, images are kind of my life outside of open source. I'm really into photography and uh, created an app called Optics helps you uh, filter through all your photos really quickly. So long story short, I love images and really excited to be talking to you today about them. Uh, lightning roadmap for what we're gonna be covering today. First, I wanna cover what is LCP? If I threw around that acronym and your eyes glazed over a bit, uh, we're gonna talk about exactly what that means. Uh, two, we're gonna talk about how it's so hard to deliver images quickly on the web and make sure our users are having a great experience uh, when we deliver images. And then three, we're gonna try and get through how you deliver a great experience with images, even in the face of all these challenges. So first off, what is LCP? So LCP is an acronym for Largest Contentful Paint. And Largest Contentful Paint is a metric that captures the time at which the largest text block or image was painted to the screen. Uh, I'll break down each of these components because contentful is not exactly something you hear every day. Um, largest, when I say largest, I'm talking about the largest initial in viewport size of the element the first time that it was painted. So for example, if an image starts off off screen, uh, then it's not gonna be a candidate for largest contentful paint. If text is initially off screen and then later comes in the viewport, it's not gonna be considered uh, the largest. For contentful, it's pretty much anything you would think of as content, right? Text nodes, image elements, video elements that come with a poster, and then certain CSS background images um, that the browser uses heuristics to determine weren't like background of the body itself. And then finally, paint. By paint time, we're talking about uh, when the element showed up on screen. Um, now, there's gonna be a caveat here for images themselves. It's the first paint after the load event, and that part after the load event is gonna be important um, for us to optimize later when we're talking about how difficult it is to do well on some of these metrics. That's all pretty abstract though, so I wanna break it down with a concrete example. Um, so this is an uh, Instagram uh, film strip of screenshots as it's loading. Uh, and this first frame here, you see we get a, a you know, pretty common splash screen with just the logo in the center. So that starts out as our largest contentful element and then as the page starts loading in, we get this next frame where the text is actually a little bigger in terms of in viewport area. So that becomes uh, our next LCP element. But then the Instagram logo, which is the real hero image of this page, uh, comes in in this third frame. Uh, it's even bigger than everything we've seen before. So that becomes our LCP element. And even as the page finishes loading, 
nothing else uh, takes over as the largest element. So that third frame stays our LCP time uh, and the Instagram logo is our LCP element. So maybe you think, oh, hey, this is great. I can automatically measure hero images and performance on my page. How do I get started? Well, uh, flashback to Lighthouse. Uh, I'm a little biased. I think Lighthouse is great. Does a lot of cool things. Uh, but specifically, it's also great for measuring LCP. All you have to do is give Lighthouse a URL, uh, and it will report on a ton of different performance metrics, including largest contentful paint. So here, uh, I'm running it from the command line. You can just run npx Lighthouse and then a URL, um, and it'll give you this nice report, and largest contentful paint will be right there uh, with the time it took to paint that largest element. Uh, you can also get it in DevTools and on the web, PSI too, but uh, I won't get too far into that. This is a simple, simple way to get started. One thing that often comes up though is that uh, largest contentful paint is really difficult to do well on. Uh, and it's pretty common to see a page that has performance something like this, where they do really well on all the other performance metrics, but largest contentful paint is really lagging behind. Um, and part of this is largest contentful paint is kind of a brand new performance metric. It was only introduced to Lighthouse in May 2020, just a few months ago. So it's very common to have a poor LCP. And most of that's because, you know, as developers, we haven't had time to optimize for it yet. Uh, so that's what we're going to take a look at uh, too. But uh, I do want to kind of walk through why is it so hard to do well on LCP and to just deliver a great experience with images in general. Images are the reason LCP is so hard to do well on and the laws of TCP. Uh, and that's what we're going to take a look at with a, a concrete example uh, here. So uh, Lighthouse kind of judges your LCP on a range of, you know, good, average, and neat, poor, needs improvement. Uh, and the threshold for a good experience is two and a half seconds on a mobile network. So let's take a look at how exactly uh, you can deliver a good experience on a typical mobile network and what the limits of all that are. So the maximum theoretical image size for this page, even if we're doing everything else right, is only 144 kilobytes. And this is assuming that we're hosting everything on a really well-optimized server. It's only 10 milliseconds away from our user. We've got TLS false start enabled. All our servers are responding zero milliseconds, instant response time. Uh, and the page consists of only four total resources, just a little bit of HTML, a little bit of JavaScript, a little bit of CSS, and then our image and that everything is static. There's no client-side rendering. Even if we're doing all of these things, hosting our hero image on a dedicated image CDN, we only have 144 kilobyte budget to be able to render LCP in two and a half seconds. Uh, and so I won't walk through all of this in, in depth, but by the time you add up round trips for a DNS request, TCP handshake, SSL handshake, the response download itself, and then do all that again for a new connection, uh, you really have a very limited time to work with to be able to deliver a great experience when an image is your largest contentful element. Don't despair though, we're going to cover exactly a couple of steps you can take to make sure you're always delivering uh, a great LCP. Um, and in summary, there's going to be three main pieces. First, we want to make sure we always request the image early. Next, we want to make sure we're using efficient formats for our image. And then third, we never want to waste any pixels uh, when we're serving our image and make sure it's sized appropriately. So taking a look at requesting the image early, you might have, say, a client-side rendered app where um, the image itself isn't even discovered until some bundle of JavaScript executes. Um, and we have all, of it. basically, the browser can't download this image until it gets discovered much later in page load than we would like. So, Long term, it would be ideal if the browser could discover that all on its own and we were either static site generation or rendering the HTML so that the browser can discover these important resources as early as possible. Um, but in the meantime, you can at least use link rel preload um, to move that image request much earlier. So even if you have client side rendering and the browser can't discover this image itself, uh, you can move that request much earlier and get that whole TCP handshake, SSO handshake process going. Um, much, much earlier in page load. So with this concrete example here, without preload, we might have been rendering our LCP at two and a quarter seconds. And then with preload, we're able to parallelize those two bundle and image requests and do it in only uh, 1.7 seconds. 
Next, uh, we've heard a lot about some great alternative image formats today. Um, and using efficient formats can really go a long way uh, to helping deliver LCP much earlier. So you can use the picture tag to conditionally serve the latest formats to the browsers that support them. Um, and I wanted to give you a, a rough sense of how uh, far you can go with each of these different formats uh, on a typical photograph. All the great caveats uh, that Sermo was talking about, about you know, using, evaluating a codec and making sure it works for your images apply. Uh, but in general, and I'm talking about a photograph here, not necessarily a logo or a graphic uh, design asset, but in a photograph, 100 kilobytes will only get you around 0.06 megapixels with PNG. So try to avoid at all costs shiver shipping a, a photograph as a PNG. Um, then if you were, say, exporting a Photoshop JPEG at really high quality, maybe straight from a marketing department, you might get maybe a quarter of a megapixel um, with that in 100 kilobytes. But if you use an even more efficient JPEG encoder like Moz JPEG, you might get all the way up to over half a megapixel in 100 kilobytes. And then if you upgrade all the way to WebP or AVIF, you might get even a full megapixel out of that 100 kilobytes. So uh, you do have plenty of room in that, that theoretical budget to deliver great quality images um, by using uh, efficient formats. And then last but not least, uh, never waste any pixels. So, you can use a source set attribute and a picture element for responsive sizing. Uh, and this one is easiest to do. I'm sure we've all been, been guilty of this at some point. Um, and it's really easy to slip up and you know, not, not realize you're accidentally shipping a really large image. Um, just the other day I was on the New York Times and I noticed the, the header, you know, hero image was loading really, really slowly. So pop open DevTools and sure enough, it's a 18 megapixel image that's being displayed at only 1.2. So in other words, it's 1500% larger than it needs to be. Um, and that's an easy win to make sure you can deliver your image much faster by making sure it's sized appropriately. Even if it's hard to remember to do all these things and it's easy to slip up, uh, Lighthouse is there to help you with catching all three of these things I mentioned. So uh, Lighthouse also gives you, you know, the metric values themselves but can also summarize all the steps you can take to improve all these images. So we have an audit to catch that you should be preloading an image if it's discovered too late by the browser. Uh, and we have audits for correctly sizing and using efficient formats for all of your images as well. So uh, even if it's easy to forget to check all these things manually, hopefully you can automate this uh, with Lighthouse and make sure you're delivering a great experience to your users. And that's it. Uh, hopefully we have some questions, but other than that, uh, I can let everyone go for lunch.